your boy Uncle Tom Ruckus again with another episode of another great day of serving the white man. All the other niggers, they had to stay back at the warehouse. Well, I got the privilege. I, I earned the privilege to be store runner, to run to the store for the white superior boss. And I'm not gonna fail him. Oh, I can't dare to fail the white man. I must stay on this good side. I must buck dance for him. I don't give a fuck what any of you motherfuckers say. I don't give a damn. I really don't. Nope. Oh yes. Get a good look at your boy, Uncle Tom Ruckus. Get a good look at him. Don't he look proud? Don't he look good? Oh yes. I look fly. I look good. And he gave me the privilege to fill up my gas tank. Yes, he gave me his credit card. His credit card. He gave me his credit card. Not those other negros, neggers. He gave me the special nigger, his credit card, to use to run to the store and to fill up my gas tank. What other house negros do you know doing it like me, doing it big like your boy Uncle Tom Ruckus? Who else do you know? Ah, oh, wait, that's what I thought. Took too long. Sorry, motherfuckers. Don't be hating on me. They wanna call me a fucking sellout, Uncle Tom. I'm only Uncle Tom if I deny it. I'm telling you I'm Uncle Tom. I don't give a fuck. The white man writes my paychecks. Helps me pay my bills. Oh yes, helps me keep my car on the road. And he's a step closer to Uncle Sam than I, like I said last time. Do I look like I give a fuck? I really don't. And if you didn't know, I don't give a fuck. Now you know, motherfucker. My people never did anything for me. It was the white man that came and saved me when I was in great distress. The white man pulled me from the trenches, from the gutters. Oh yes, the white man holds my fate in his hands, and I'm not gonna disappoint him anytime soon. I can't dare do that. Those other Negroes wanna be strong and be distant and act like they're just so tough and don't need the help from the white man. They could be macho all day. I gladly accept to have help from the white man. Like I said, no shame in my game. Put some respect on my motherfucking name, and that's Uncle Tom Ruckus. Oh, fuck yeah, I don't give a fuck. Such a motherfucking beautiful day to serve the white man. Is it ever not? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Motherfuckers are tripping, man. Just so in denial. So in denial, I swear to God. <laughs> Fucking strong-headed, wannabe tough neggers. <laughs> Can't wait to get back from the store for running his errands for my, my, my white superior. I can't wait to get back to the job site and buck dance for him. I can't fucking wait. Motherfuckers are sorry. You know goddamn well the white man helps you pay your bills and writes your checks for you. But you want to sit here and judge me. You want to sit here and judge me. Because I shout from the mountaintops who I am. And I don't, have, I don't hide it. Motherfuckers wear a mask. You act tough when the other naggers around. But you know behind closed doors, you depend on that white man. Just like one of the OGs from the other, from the job. He had got let go, but you know what he did? He did all that talk about, oh, we don't need the white man, it's this and that. And it would make me just sick to my stomach when he talked like that. I, I fucking hated it, man. But you knew, I knew he was a fraud. I fucking knew it. He called the white superior. He called the boss, the great white man, behind closed doors when he was fired, sitting home with nothing to do. His life was helpless without the white man, and he knew it. So he dialed the number and called my white superior. Oh, fucking yeah. And you know what he did? He cried. He got on his knees and begged. He didn't pray to the Lord like he claimed he just needed God. He prayed to the white man over the phone and begged and made up a story to get back on the job. And the white man let him back on. The white man showed him mercy. Oh, yes, the great white man showed that black motherfucker mercy. Now the OG came back. Came back to the job with his head down. He was too ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I let it be known from the get-go. I have no shame in my game. Put some respect on my motherfucker name, Uncle Tom Ruckus. I don't hide who I am. I don't give a fuck. Anyways, I still gotta make this, this store run. I'm almost there. Yes, you see that? Oh, hell yes. Paint? You said get a, a can of paint thinner and a, two boxes of paper towels slash rags. And he has a discount on his card. He gave me the card to use his discount. How special 
can it get? I mean, come on. Come on. <laughs> no fucking hate. No hate, because they didn't send you to the store. You sent me. Yes. The HNIC, the house nigga in charge. God damn. I want to hate on me, because I got special privilege from my white superior, and you didn't. <laughs> come on. Motherfuckers are just haters, man. God. But I can't fuck up on this. And he allows me to fill up my gas tank when I get back. <sighs> Come on, man. Would the Negro ever do that? No. And don't lie about it. Only the white man, the great white man, the great superior white man, will allow you to fill up your gas tank after doing errands for him. What Negro ever did that? That's what I thought. Get the fuck out of my face. Go! Go! Do you see that? You see that number right there just going up and up and up? That's from the white man. Would a Negro ever let you do that? No, that's what I thought. You see that shit. 25 and better, that's what I'm headed for, that's what I'm shooting for. The white man is responsible for this right here. Props to the great white man. So I get back to the job site, shining and gloaming, just just shine boning and everything, just buck dancing, just happy that I did a good errand, a good deed for the white man, my white superior, as you know. I ran to the store, I did some errands for him to go grab a few items from the Home Depot right down the road, about 15 min minutes away from the job site and shit. And I get back to the job site with the two boxes of rags and the paint thinner with credit card and all, with a, with a big old smile on my buck dancing ass face. And I'm happy that I did the job for him. But guess what he says? First of all, he looks pissed. I guess he thinks I took too long. It took quite some time to get back to the job site, which I think I did a good job. But the hell with that. He demands that I have a receipt because he allowed me to fill up my gas tank after I ran to, to the store for him. Completed my job as the store runner for the white superior man, the great white man he is. I did that. He chose me for the job. And I did everything not to disappoint him. And I still end up disappointing him. And I thought we were brothers. I thought we were brothers. And he still found a way to get mad at me. Doesn't matter how much buck dancing I do for that motherfucker. He wants me to go all the way back to the gas station where I pump my gas at. And go inside the store. And demand a receipt from them motherfuckers. And to bring it back to him. I thought he was going to let it slide when I told him. Oh, I, just, I selected the option at the gas pump for no receipt. I didn't think anything of it. Now he's demanding I get a receipt. I don't know if he's using the company's card or something. I don't know. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I only put like $27 in there or something like that. Some shit. Motherfuckers always find something to get mad at you about. No matter how much shine, boning, and buck dancing I do for the motherfuckers. Hello, ma'am. I came earlier to pump my gas at pump 12, and my superior wants me to come back and get a receipt for it. Pump um, what? Yes, ma'am. You want the receipt? Yes. Um, it was about 35 minutes ago. Yes. This is the card right here. How much? Uh, it was about 20, maybe 27 dollars. Between 27 and 30 dollars. You put already or you want the gas? Oh, I've already put the, the gas in already there. Already gas? Yes, already, already I'm, put And I'm coming gas? back for the receipt, yes. Yes, okay. For the receipt. How much? Uh, it was about twenty-seven to thirty dollars, something like that, some shit. Twenty-seven. Yeah, yeah. I have a thirty-one. Oh, it might have been the thirty-one dollars. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that sounds about right. Just want to do a good job for my superior, my boss. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. Hello. I got the receipt. I will not fail my boss. Not today.